Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all you beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining me in my little corner of the internet. Here we discuss all things manifestation, self-discovery, and intuition. Today, I have a manifestation video for you guys. I know you guys have been watching and I've been saying, oh, I have some news, I've been doing some things, something happened, and I didn't quite give you all of the information, but I did leave some tidbits here and there, and I'm wondering if you picked up on it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should go do that because you would have known about this four weeks ago. Instead, you are learning about it now, but <laughs> today I will tell you that I'm engaged. <laughs> so for this video, I really want to talk about manifesting a specific person in your life. I refer to this a little bit in my day in the life of manifesting. And I just want to kind of give a little bit more information on how I manifested my husband and how you can do that as well. Or anyone, to be honest, because right now I am manifesting people. I am manifesting you guys. I am hoping to create a community where we all can be authentically ourselves and love on each other and spread good positivity and light and beautiful messages where we are growing together and becoming our best selves living our dream lives so that is who i am manifesting at the moment and before i was manifesting a husband who came right along and put a ring on it <laughs> So let's get into the TLDW. First, I'm going to go through my lists and my journal prompts and all the things that I used in order to envision this person in my life and kind of go through exactly what I said. Two, we'll talk about the path of least resistance. And three, we'll talk about our attachment styles. And all of this is all useful in order to manifest the specific person you are looking for. <laughs> I've literally been writing since 2015, like consistently, consistently, and so I've got all these books. I have even more, but I didn't write about him, or um, yeah, I didn't have anything in those books uh, about this specific person, but they are in here, and I bookmarked them so that I could get to them easier. So we'll start with 2015. So I started this book in the beginning of 2015 and I put my this is when I was putting my vision board in the front of my book and on this vision board I didn't really talk about love because I was really interested in like growing my YouTube channel and then also moving to LA was something that I really wanted to do and I was just trying to be more comfortable in me and loving me so yeah so that's what this vision board was all about I didn't really mention love too much in here but it was something that I wanted um, these things didn't pan out the way that I wanted them to exactly pan out uh, that year but I started the the process and I guess that is also a little bit about manifestation is that it might not happen when you want it to happen so i wanted all these things in 2015 and it didn't quite happen in 2015 but a lot of these things are happening for me right now and there was a lot of work that i had to do in order to get to where i am right now so you got to be patient and you have to love every step of the way so let's see the first one was December 30th, 2015, uh, it was a note from my Refinery29 horoscope where it was a love forecast for 2016 and um, it said that I am craving closeness and a longer leash to pursue my passions. Bottom line, I need someone secure who will support me in my ambitions because obviously this year wasn't about love for me <laughs> this year was really about growing myself and like yeah just pursuing a lot of my my passions and that was something that's super important to me and i knew would continuously be, be super important to me so i needed someone who was there for me supported me and loved that i was so ambitious and then it says keynote don't jump on the first ship that passes by 
don't lose sight of your happiness and goals. And the, at the first sign of uneasiness, explore the option of just being alone. And that is exactly what I did. I dated a lot, a lot. And um, I wasn't going to settle. I just knew I wasn't going to settle. I want a lot for myself. And whoever I'm with needs to want that for me and for themselves as well. So that was my love forecast for 2016. Now we're gonna skip to October 2016. And in this one, October 2016, I had met someone and he had a few of the things that I was looking for. I was looking for someone who was creative, artistic, and challenged me. And this person definitely was that, but there were a lot of other qualities that I really just didn't like. So I made note of the things that I did want. And I said, okay, these are the parts that I like. These are the parts that I don't really think will mesh well with me long term. So this is not the person for me, but the person who is for me will have these things. And I started creating my list of what it is that I wanted. So now we're gonna move on to the next book, which was 2018. Did I skip 2017? Yeah, I don't think that I wrote in 2017. 2017 was actually the beginning of this book. I have another little like vision board thing here and I still don't have love in here because again it wasn't like a main priority I think that's another thing about manifesting is that sometimes you can ask for what you want but you really have to just let it go and so there was there were other things that I wanted more than a partner at that time so that didn't quite make the cut into any of my um vision boards in the moment but yeah 2017 I think I had like three or four entries in this book and I didn't write any more rough year so by June of 2018 I was able to write a whole list of what I want in a partner uh, and I literally began this with like damn I don't write anymore <laughs> it's sad but it's true um, but I'm not gonna go into detail about that I just want to jot down things about myself and the things I want to manifest so I wrote a list about myself of things that I learned um, in 2017 and 2018, which one of them happened to be that I could be a fuck girl <laughs> and I really don't want to be that type of person. So yeah, also understanding who you are and what you're bringing to the table. And um, of course I wasn't going to find the person for me if I was out here being a fuck girl. So. <laughs> I wanted to change things around, which uh, is why I wrote down what I want to manifest in a partner. And I wrote that I wanted someone who was loyal, trustworthy, fine, consistent. Consistent became a really big one for me. Committed, clear with his intentions, someone that I can share the nuances of my day with, but not have to text all day with them. Spontaneous, open-minded, adventurous, spiritual, or just believes in some kind of higher being. Ambitious, fun, grounded, or knows how to ground himself. A protector, and someone who is very caring. So yeah, that was my list. Um, I purposefully didn't include anything about the way that he looked like specifics because I just knew and I just trusted that the universe is going to send me someone that had all these things all these qualities everything that I want and of course with all of that I'm going to be super attracted to them so then we get to 2019 and again I wrote another list about what I would like in a partner. And this day, their new moon was in Sag, which is funny because that's the sun sign of my partner. <laughs> and here is where I wrote a little bit more details about uh, what he looked like. So I wrote, I want someone who is handsome or freaking hot. <laughs> someone who knows how to laugh, doesn't take himself too seriously. He has hobbies. He loves to travel in the same way that I do a deep thinker he has integrity he's respectful thoughtful affectionate with just enough pda 
Someone who's ready for love, ready for a monogamous relationship. That's important to me. Someone who is tall. I wrote 5'9 and up. Granted, 5'9 is not that tall, but I'm five foot, so tall to me. <laughs> a head full of hair, great kisser, hardworking, goal oriented, or just a doer. Consider it someone who is great with finances because I need that. <laughs> someone who is not afraid to let me lead. And tattoos such piercings are good, but not necessary. <laughs> So I think that I was able to create this list by going through the people that I've dated and, and the experiences that I've had and seeing what I like, what I don't like, what meshes well with me. And um, yeah, I got very, very specific and that was in 2019. So lastly, I will say that in May 2020, I wrote a script um, where I basically scripted out what uh, life was life is like for me um in the future and i don't think i i don't have a specific day it was a script kind of because i i wrote it as in this is my husband I, but i also wrote it as in it's kind of happening in the future so yeah you know sometimes you start writing and things don't pan out the way you want it to pan out um but it's all good because it all worked and that was in may 2020 i was already with him and um that's where it was heading I hope that gave you a little bit of insight into what I said and what I did to kind of manifest him and so right now I'm doing the same thing with my YouTube community where I am talking about the type of people that I want to come into this community um, the feeling that I want everyone to get from my content and also the feeling that I want to receive from all of your beautiful comments. For the small community that I have right now, you guys make me feel so good, especially when you tell me that something that I said you really needed and you really took something away from it. I, It just really makes me feel good to know that I have been able to help you. And yeah, it gives me so much joy that you guys are here supporting me and uh, contributing as well. Thank you so much and I hope that our community grows and gets bigger and you guys are here for the, for the ride as well. So with that being said, let's get into number two, which is the path of least resistance. So I've mentioned Abraham Hicks a ton of times on this channel um, and that's where I got this uh, phrase from. So when it comes to manifest, you wanna make sure that whatever it is that you are trying to get to, you are not fighting yourself to get there. So just like how a river flows one way, and if you try to go the opposite way of the river flowing, you're, you're facing resistance and it's really hard for you to, to get that way because the flow is this way. And so what you wanna do is maybe get out of that walk up, walk back, whatever you have to do in order to get to where you need to get to, if it's back there. But I'm sure whatever it is that you want is down the river where the water is flowing. So you might as well just go on down that lazy river, sit in that uh, tube and just take yourself for the ride, you know? And that's the same thing with manifesting. I mentioned this in my last video, I always go back to the one thing that's really easy for me to manifest, which is money and my relationship with money. There were times where people told me that I deserve a raise. They told me that I deserve um, more money when it came to my job. And I didn't quite feel like it was time for me to ask for that money. So I said, okay, thank you for your, you know, confidence in me. Thank you for telling me that I deserve more money. Um, you know, I will ask for it when I'm ready to ask for it. And I honored that feeling that like, it just wasn't time. I didn't feel like I had the skill uh, that I needed in order to get that promotion, get that raise. I felt, felt like there was a little bit more that I could learn, learn and I could do in order to really prove that I deserve that raise. And I went with that. I didn't let somebody else tell me, oh, you deserve this, you need to go do that. Uh, push me into doing something that I wasn't quite ready for. Then I said, you know, if this person thinks that I'm ready for this, then maybe I am. 
let me see what are the skills that I need or what are the things that I need to say in that meeting with my boss in order to get the raise. So I made a list of all the skills that I had learned, any accomplishments that I may have had, and I put that together in order for me to see if I'm truly ready to go and ask for a raise. If I didn't have what I thought that I needed, then I didn't go and ask until I knew like, okay, I have exactly what I needed. And every time I went in to ask for a raise, I got that raise. If I even had to ask, sometimes I didn't have to ask. Sometimes they just knew because they saw me putting in that work. And so therefore that's why it's so easy for me to get raises and for me to feel like money was just coming to me because I went with my gut. Of course someone told me, you know, you're ready, you're ready, you're ready. They're not my boss. They're not the person that could actually give me the money. So once I was able to see that, I said, okay, how do I apply that to dating? All right, I'm dating. I'm talking to people. I may have a boyfriend here and there. This person, you know, is super artistic, super creative, but they don't like to travel much because they're so focused on work. I'm so focused on work right now. Maybe that's why I'm attracting this type of person. Like, okay, let me start. I'm focused on work. I'm going to continue working, but I love to travel. So let me put that out there. Like, this is something that I do. This is something that I enjoy. Like, obviously, if someone sees that on my social media page, they're going to say, oh, okay, well, I like to travel too. And I'm creative too, like this person. Let me, you know, reach out to her or something like that. Or even, this is what I want to be doing. Being mindful of what I put out there uh, to attract the type of people that I want to attract in the same vein as money. I was very mindful of this, you know, things that I was working on and the things that I was showing people at work that I was working on uh, to attract that, that promotion and that race. So you really just want to go with the thing that feels the best to you. If you're feeling like sick, might not be the time, might not be the person. But if you are feeling like excited, nervous, that might be a good sign. So really get into what it is that you're feeling when you're with that person. What is it that you're feeling when you think about the person that you want? And I thought about this the other day that, you know, when you are aligned with the person you want to be and your true self, and that person is aligned, your specific person is aligned with who they are and who they want to be. That's when the universe is gonna bring you together. And so lastly, I wanna talk about the attachment style because like I said, I dated a lot. I had boyfriends here and there. And if you are attached, if you can't let go, if you realize that someone is not for you and you keep trying to hold on to it, you're never going to be able to get to the person that is for you. So you really want to think about what your attachment style is. There's a quiz out there and I'll link it down in the description box below where they tell you about your attachment style. And that gives you a lot of insight into, you know, how it is that you are showing up in these relationships and how it is that you are ending these relationships that are not good for you or going back to relationships that are not good for you by figuring out your attachment style you can really find the person that is for you and there are some books that are on it as well i will link one down in the description box it is called attached the new science of adult attachment and how it can help you find and keep love which is a really really great book and it will really help um, if you find that your attachment style is, is something you need to work on <laughs> So yeah, that was my quick and easy way of how to manifest a specific person. Honestly, a lot of it is doing work on yourself. Again, self-discovery, self-growth, being aware of how you are showing up, and then also being aware of the people that are around you and who is showing up in your life. What is it that you are attracting? When you are fully aligned with who you are, and your partner is fully aligned with who they are, that is when the universe will bring you together. So continue working on yourself, continue loving yourself, 
let's grow together let's manifest together i will help you along this journey as you are all helping me along this journey because i'm seeing who i am attracting here on this channel and i am loving every second of it uh, so i must be doing something right uh, but go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below if you've been able to manifest a specific person in your life and let me just give me the details on how that went i would love to hear so i'm sure there's so much more that we can learn and we can know about manifesting that specific person and so leave it down in the comment section so others can see it as well thank you so much for joining me in my little corner of the internet I'm here every Thursday and I will see you next week. Bye guys.